Hello, my name is Tom Butcher. I am the Vice President of Technical Services and Training for Surge Suppression Incorporated and a senior member of IEEE. With me today is Ricky Fossil. Ricky is an electrical engineer and serves as a design and test engineer at Surge Suppression Incorporated's manufacturing division in Brooksville, Florida. We are at the testing lab of the manufacturing division to conduct a demonstration of the ability of properly applied surge protection to protect lighting circuits from surge damage up to catastrophic levels. A well-documented problem for a number of facilities in Florida and throughout the U.S. has been the failure of lighting bulbs, tubes, and ballasts, as well as electronic lighting control circuits from lightning and other catastrophic events on the electrical grid. Another lesser known culprit is the internally generated transients created by the operation of the facility's own equipment inside the building. Properly applied and installed surge protective devices, SPDs, at the lighting panels and electronic controls can provide protection and reduce downtime, replacement, labor, and liability costs. To demonstrate the ability of SPDs to reduce or eliminate the damage from surge activity, we will be using some of our surge generation equipment. Our surge generator produces a 5,000 amp surge that will simulate a lightning strike somewhere up line on the utility grid. We will be using both incandescent bulbs and compact fluorescent bulbs in this test. We will first subject one of each type of bulb to a surge without any surge protection in place. We will then repeat the test with new bulbs and with a properly applied SPD from Surge Suppression Incorporated wired into the circuit. The first test we will perform is with the standard incandescent bulb with no surge protective device in the circuit. We put the bulb in the socket inside the test enclosure. The enclosure is designed to contain any pieces of the bulb should the surge cause catastrophic failure. We will apply normal 120 volt power to the circuit to light the bulb during the test. The surge generator will be producing a 5000 amp surge onto the circuit. Ricky will now charge the surge generator and it will fire in 3, 2, 1. Obviously the bulb did not survive the test. While Ricky is setting up for the second test, let's talk about lighting protection. Parking lot lighting, security lighting, decorative lighting, walkway lighting, and illuminated signage are all critical areas that require full-time operation to not only provide the aesthetic appearance you desire, but also provide security for your customers and employees, as well as protect you from liability claims from accidents occurring in areas where lighting has failed. We will repeat the test with a compact fluorescent bulb with no SPD in the circuit. We place the bulb in the socket inside the test enclosure. We turn on the 120 volt power to the circuit to light the bulb. The surge generator will again produce a 5000 amp surge onto the circuit. Ricky is now charging the surge generator and it is firing in 3, 2, 1. Again the compact fluorescent bulb failed, just like the incandescent bulb before it. While Ricky is setting up the next test, Let's talk about inside lighting for a minute. Lighting in common areas of buildings, offices, production areas, and stairways is critical for the safety of customers and employees. An unlit area of a hallway, or worse, an area of a production line with heavy machinery operating can result in injury or even death for someone who can't see the danger they are approaching. The proper application and installation of surge protection on the lighting panels can reduce or even eliminate the surge activity that is causing the vast majority of the lighting equipment failures you are living with today. We will now place a surge protective device from Surge Suppression Incorporated into the circuit between the surge generator and the test enclosure. Repeating the test with the incandescent bulb this time with the SPD installed in the circuit and 120 volt power applied. Ricky is charging the surge generator to produce the 5000 amp surge and it is firing in 3, 2, 1. The incandescent bulb is not only still intact, it is still lit. While Ricky is setting up for the final test, I want to talk briefly about one more aspect of lighting. 
Customers will naturally gravitate towards a well-lit, attractive environment. Poorly lit stores will almost always have fewer customers than well-lit stores. Employees are much more productive and generally happier in a well-lit office or production area. Think about the newer upscale supermarkets. They have wide aisles and attractive displays, but more importantly, they are very well lit. Shadowed areas are just not there. Now think about the older supermarkets with poor lighting. Not only are the aisles narrow, there are very few customers in them. Properly maintained and controlled lighting has a big impact on the image of a business, office, or production facility. Now for the last test with the compact fluorescent bulb. With the SPD in line and 120 volt power applied, Ricky is charging the surge generator to produce the same 5,000 amp surge and it is firing in three, two, one. The compact fluorescent bulb is also still intact and it is still lit. These have been fairly basic tests, but I think we have demonstrated that properly applied surge protective devices have the ability to prevent damage to lighting from even potentially catastrophic surges. With surge suppression incorporated products on your lighting system, your replacement costs will go down, your downtime can be reduced, your customers and employees will be safer, and your liability will decrease. Your lighting system is an investment in your facility's success, and Surge Suppression Incorporated can help protect that investment. If you have any questions regarding this or any other matter concerning surge protective devices in general, or Surge Suppression Incorporated in particular, please visit us at www.surgesuppression.com where you can chat online with an engineer from our factory or call us at 888-987-8877. Ricky and I thank you for your time.